Hey y'all, Gina Brown here, GCISD's Lead Digital Learning Coach. I am going to show you how to add to your navigation bar on Canvas. I've had a couple teachers that want to kind of have an anchor spot for some text or some links or some videos. I think the best way to do this is to create a new navigation tab, and then you can link an external site or a page within Canvas. So what I would start doing is create a page to start. What you kind of wanna have at the end is something like this. I have a class recordings page that I have uploaded all of my class recordings for that term or that unit. And then the kids can go back and easily find any videos. Like I said, you can do the same thing with text, with links, with resources, and all the kids will have to do is pop over to their navigation bar to find it. So first thing is go to a brand new page or a page that you have already created that you want to add to your navigation bar. So once you have your page created, what you are going to do is you are going to go to your settings tab on your navigation bar. So go to your settings tab and you are going to go to navigation. You're gonna double check that anything you want your kiddos to see are on this top half of navigation and you can do that by clicking and dragging and dropping. Anything above this line will be visible to kids and anything below will not. Now, to add a brand new tab to the navigation bar, you will go to apps. And then you will search by redirect. Once you search redirect, you will click this redirection tool, the little arrow, and you will hit add app. Whatever you put on your name will be the name that exists on the navigation bar. So if you want to call it anchor text, links, whatever you would like, type that in the name. Then you will put the URL directly from your Canvas page or from your external link. Okay, y'all, so I found a page. Let's pretend this is a page that's full of links or resources. I found one that had a link and a video. So this is the Google Drive folder where I kept all my resources for the mid-year exam. So I am actually going to call it that. So when I hop back, that is what I'm going to call it. And I might shorten it up a little bit. Let's try mid-year exam resources. Then I am going to pop in this URL from my Canvas site. Once I do that, I can either force open in a new tab or I can have them just direct to that page. It's up to y'all. Sometimes it's easier to force open in a new tab because then it doesn't kind of pull them out of whatever they're doing. You want it to show in course navigation so that way the kiddos can see it. So I'm going to hit add app and then I'm going to hop back to my navigation and I'm going to look for that navigation tab and I'm going to pull it up to the top. Okay, y'all, so I just hit refresh and gave my computer a minute and then they popped right up on this left hand navigation bar. So like I said, if I wanna go on over, I can move these up to the top, I can move them to the bottom wherever I would like. While I was waiting for the page to refresh, I added this other one called Anchor Text to show y'all it's quick and easy to get rid of it as well. So you can click the three dots and hit Disable, and that will completely get rid of it, or you can just move it to below this Hide from Item um, from Students line, and that way they won't be able to see it. So you can add things, you can take it away. This can be a kind of ever-living, ever-growing document for you and your students. So real quick, just a quick refresher, if you want to add a new navigation tab, you go to settings, you go to apps, in the search you type redirect, and then you hit the arrow to hit the add button, and then you hit add app, you say whatever you want the name to be, and then you link either directly from Canvas or from another website, and then you hit add app. You want to kind of wait a minute, hit refresh, and then your brand new navigation tab will pop up on this left-hand side. I hope that was helpful, and as always, reach out with any questions.